Good morning in the morning. And good morning, my love. How Hello. Do you, how do you do? I am good. I heard that we have a bunch of questions that we should answer today. We just posted a video a few, a few days ago, basically, and we got over 800 comments. We announced that we we're going to do a Q&A. Yeah. And oh, we have over 800 comments <laughs> with over, I think, over 500 questions that we have to answer. <laughs> so that's a lot. But first, coffee and breakfast. What do we have for breakfast? We can make a smoothie bowl. We drop some bananas. And that goes in there. More bananas. Layen says that if you stare at the blender while it's working, it's going to work faster. <laughs> Who says it? It's, it's just, there's this fascination for me when I see a machine operating. It could be the smallest thing to a freaking huge crane working. It's just fascinating to see the process. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, yes. 50-50. You can also put more into yours. No. Okay. When you grow up with siblings, <laughs> you learn the rule. Always split it 50-50 or there's gonna be conflict. And over here we have Freddy, who is trying to make our breakfast aesthetics. <laughs> Pinterest picture-like. Yeah, I mean, it's not really, it's not really nice. Hey. So for this Q&A, we're gonna try to make it fair and we are using a software which is picking randomly all the comments, questions that you guys made in the comments. This way we'll make it fair and we just, the thing just picks the questions and we just answer them. Use the random things. For example, the first question. I'm excited. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> we have Yolanda Villegas. Big shout out to you. Um, she says this this was a very nice video. Love seeing you dancing in the rain, annoying and embracing life the best possible way. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much. And the question is, how did Rodrigo and Freddie meet? <laughs> this is a question. This is a question that we have answered before in our previous Q and A, but we're gonna answer it again. We yeah. met in Poquete on Tinder. <laughs> no. no, it was a real life meeting. Like, I came to Panama in 2022. I did some volunteer work here in a school. And yeah, after some weeks being here, I spotted her at a yeah. coffee shop. But we had some kind of mutual friends. And then one evening, we did spend an evening together. Yep. Um, yeah, and then we started talking and we started dating. Yep. We went to see the stars one day, and <laughs> yeah, we started talking about things that we had in common, yeah. and that's how it and started. The rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> Freddy Lady, Hello. I have another question for you. Yes, please. This question is from Sally Beasley, and she wants to know how old are we both, and what does your family think about you? being so far from home with the jungle boy we are 23 and 27 <laughs> and i'm the older one and my family of course misses me a lot but they are very very supportive and i have to add to that that we travel back in december to germany so i met a bunch of freddy's family they are super super awesome super cool and supportive so big shout out to a lot of them because they also watch our videos yeah <laughs> Honey, there is a bunch of people here saying that we shouldn't get another kitten. Yeah. Like, thank you so much for, for all, your, all your comments. 
I read so many comments saying no, not at all, we can't get a kitty <laughs> and so many people said yes, get another kitty but it's yeah, it's so hard to know, every, every cat is different so Yeah and with Roger he's been a single kitty cat he's been a single... A single male Yeah, he's been here since 2020 and he's just used to having his space to being the king of the jungle and having yeah. all the attention <laughs> So, if we get another kitten, I think it's going to be a problem for him. And he may start peeing everywhere. Yeah, that and is our concern. Maybe the only one so far, but yeah. if that happens, we have a problem. He already peed in Freddy's luggage yeah, once. Yeah, suitcase. That was like four months ago. Yeah. We clean it and put stuff in there. But and it was intense. It still smells like cat pee. Yep. <laughs> so, for now, no kitten. No kidding, I'm sorry. I'm sad. How about puppy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I already have my puppy love. We can get a raccoon. No. <laughs> I have a question for you from oh. Nick. I shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> I remember that the house was a secret from Rodrigo's mom. Did you ever share it with her? Well, it still has been a secret. Um, but that's not going to be a secret for too long. <laughs> I'm already doing some arrangements for her to come. The thing that I wanted to do mostly was to have a place where we could have dinner with her, that we could just just sit around. I know we have that. We have a dining room and we had our have a little couch so we can just hang around. Imagine if she, I brought her when I was living in the tree house. Yeah. She would just grab me by the ears and tell me, "Yep." Get out of here. Son. <laughs> what are you doing? She wants it to be kind of perfect or like nice. Yeah, Latino moms always yeah. want, like in, this is in general with moms, they yeah. want just the best for of course, their of kids. Course. So yeah. she will be definitely very concerned if she had seen that I was living in a tree house, that I was living in a shed, and that later I was also living on an unfinished house. Okay, I have another good, good question. This question is from the Danielle I am. <laughs> And she wants to know, when we talk with each other, do we talk in English or in Spanish or German? Do you guys want to know the truth? <laughs> you want to know the truth? Are you ready for this? Freddy speaks five languages. I speak only two. Yeah, let's say four and a half. It's and not really flu flu fluent, fluent anymore. We communicate on three different languages. German, Spanish and English. So it's a mixture. <laughs> it's not it's not Spanglish, it's yeah. germ Spanglish. Yeah, it's it's mostly English to be honest yeah, in our main. everyday life. But here and there Rodrigo tries to talk to me in Spanish and I try to answer and I try to tell you some things in German and you have to figure out <laughs> how to answer to that. But yeah. Yeah schnooky. Yeah schnooky. Schnooky. <laughs> schnooky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn German. Freddie already speaks Perfect Spanish oh, and she's that's shy. Not, that's not true. Tell me something in Spanish. No. She's just shy. Not she true. speaks perfect Spanish, super good vocabulary, pronunciation very well, and she's shy. Yo no hablo español. You see? <laughs> you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> We're gonna be filming this Q&A as we work and today we have to prepare some of the boards for our wall. We're currently doing some tongue and groove for our walls and these ones are pretty much ready. We only have to do the staining and the sealing for these ones. But we still have a long way to go. For example, right here with these boards we still have to do a lot of sanding and just continue with the whole process. We have been working a lot off camera just trying to get the tongue and groove done because it's the most tedious part but we still have a long way to go We have another question from Flame Garnet I'm very sorry if I don't pronounce it right um, and the question is why don't we build a temporary rain cover <laughs> for... actually right now the clouds are coming um, a temporary rain cover for working outside and that's a brilliant idea I think if it just gets too hard for us to work outside with the rain or if we just can't work outside anymore, I think we should consider that. Hang Honey, on. I got a present for you. Can I say hi? But don't put him into my shirt. Hi, you. Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> 
for our next question we have CJ over here I'm gonna pronounce your name your last name very wrong but I will say Marisic I'm sorry if that's wrong please forgive me it's the first time that I read this last name but he's wondering if the boards are not available in Panama why don't I buy them from another country well he's referring to these boards in Panama they used to sell the tongue and groove boards but I already checked on the stores and they don't sell them anymore and if I try to get them from another country already prepared and everything it's not only gonna be super super expensive I will have to pay probably three or four times the price because I am importing these materials from another country I will also have to pay some sort of fee which is like an importing fee or something like that which is it's gonna make the numbers go super super high and I don't wanna have to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just for importing the wood I would just I will stick with it even though it's super tedious and takes so much time to get done it's in the end way cheaper you wanna tell us what happened <gasps> Freddy? no I don't I'm sitting, <laughs> sitting in sealer taking a bath I actually don't know if this is so healthy Far too long, but now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling. <laughs> Run! Ah. The rain is here. This is the strongest rain that we have had all year. It's not like we have had a lot of rain. We have like maybe three or four, in the course of like four months. But that means I know. We have an excuse to stay in the couch! Hello! Wow, what do we have here? Hot chocolate, it's really hot, 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 hot! <laughs> Thank you so much. One of the best ways to spend a rainy day is inside of a house watching a movie and drinking some hot chocolate. You know we want to welcome you guys to our newest and future wellness center. <laughs> Hello! This is our recreation area. We got yoga mats, hammock, a beautiful Freddy, hey. crazy cat, a beautiful cat. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> <laughs> our next question is from Starlet Satori, and she wants to know: Are you ready for this, Freddy? Yes. She wants to know if we're gonna get married. Ooh. Tell me, are we gonna get married? <laughs> Maybe this is a moment to do something that I've been waiting to do for a while. <laughs> Freddy Macaroni Macaroni. <laughs> when you already start with that name, then nothing good can, <laughs> can happen. What did you grab from there? Do you wanna spend the next how many years do we have left? Mm. Say 70. Ah, uh, more 60. The next 60 Christmas together. Woo, yeah! <laughs> 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 but to answer your question, we have thought about it at some point and we'll probably do it. Um, but I think we're gonna do something really kind of small. Yeah, more and like more for us. Yeah. Basically only for us, our close friends and our families. And the good thing is that since we are from two different countries, we legally, I guess we have to get married in both countries. Yeah. So I will get the German residency, so I have to spend some time in there and she can get the Panamanian residency because she's spending already some time in here. 
But that's something for the future. We don't have to worry about that <laughs> right now. Exactly. Like we talked about it and we we would do it, but for now it's not yeah, it's not a thing that we we wanna We are not in a rush. Yeah, we wanna do it in the near future and maybe we think differently about it in a few years. So yeah, yeah let's just see what's happening. That was actually another question uh, about the residency that I have, or if I have a residency. And so far, no, I don't have a residency. She so far. is here illegal. That's not true, but <laughs> I have to, as as everybody who is not, yeah, in in another country with a with a st st status of, yeah, of um, residency, I I have to leave the country and come back and leave it again and come back. And that's kind of the intention for us, uh, like every time that she has to leave the country, we just travel a little bit, we can explore a little bit of Costa Rica, we can just have that time as an excuse to travel and explore <laughs> new places. And I think we're also answering here a question that I saw somewhere in the comments. The travel plans? The travel plans. Ooh. Our goal has been to spend most of the time here, it yeah. being our homestead basically and then we travel every once in a while we have a little adventure to countries that are either close by or to countries that we want to explore together but for that we first need to make a ton of videos so we can pay for those trips exactly let's go yeah. <laughs> okay that is a good one um I know I'm going to a place, this is none of my business, but have you ever thought to cut your hair? Oh... Next? <laughs> <laughs> no, I started letting my, my hair grow, but that was back in 2020. I just wanted to have that rebel face, you know, you show up a little bit, I'm a little rebel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I would definitely consider cutting it, I think after I hit 25. Once that matureness starts heating, or I start going bald, I will have to cut it. Okay, mister. I call this one the hospital trip. Hospital trip? Yeah. Why? Because if I fall, I'll have to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, a question. Um, building a tree house, a shed and a proper house. What did you learn along the way? Well, I learned a lot of things. But if I had to condense that and pass that advice to someone, it would be double check your measures <laughs> and never, never, ever build a triangle. Okay, you have to read that question now in German, please. I don't want to. People are going to laugh. No, it's okay. Honey. Ich kann mich der Abhaftsmann von Kimberly noch ausbinden. Um, ich kann mich nur der Äußerung That's so far away from what I pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> Äußerung von Kimberly anschließen. What you going to do to finish the dining room? Walls look really bland, needs decor. So for the walls in the dining room, we want to do more of a thong and groove. So we really like that pattern. And we're going to use the wall that we already have with the plywood. And we're going to have that as a base and basically use put the tongue and groove over with some nails. Okay. Okay, the next question for our Q&A. Could you please show me your grocery store? I see where you live is small and I would love to see what kind of food is there. And that's an excellent idea. We can actually do that. And to answer that question, we have come to the place. That is one of the grocery stores. This is the grocery store that has been here for years yeah. and the one that we started going to and they only have certain things. I'm looking for parchment paper. I don't think they sell that here. Because I, I always see aluminum foil everywhere or like plastic things, but no parchment paper. But can you bake a bread on a aluminum foil? I don't know. We buy most of our products here on this little supermarket. Um, they got very limited options, but they got everything we need from rice and like beans and stuff like that. The bad thing is that we are not allowed to film inside, so I'm pretending that I'm just walking around. But when it comes to vegetables and things like that, we usually come to the fruit stands. It's so cool that we have this thing over here where most of the vegetables and fruits are produced. Just 
in the mountains yeah. behind us. Right and, here in the region. Yeah, and people just bring it to these little places and they sell it there. We just come and just get as much as we need. <laughs> Pepper! <laughs> Take the veggies. <laughs> Five dollars. One of the best things of living in the town where we live at right now is that you can just come out on a Saturday afternoon and there is a parade. It's just horses walking around, people dancing on cars. And it's so cool. Okay, I have another good question. It says, has there been any adjustments relationship-wise from long distance to being in each other's space consistently? Yes, definitely. I think we already managed the four months long distance perfectly, but it's so much nicer to live together and spend every day together. So yeah, we, we had to get used to, but we're doing perfectly fine. In the beginning, there were like little details, like as in every relationship. Yeah. For example, Freddy used to drink my coffee all the time. <laughs> Steal it. <laughs> she, I would leave my cup of coffee. I would drink a cup of coffee during the day and I would just sip it little by little. When it was cold, I would continue to sip it and she would just steal my coffee. And we, we talked it through, we got through it. And now yeah. I am stealing her tea. <laughs> so it's some sort of revenge. But we can say that there have been like little, little details like that but i don't think we have had like a super hard time adjusting no i think no. it actually it blended in perfectly it was kind of like pretty natural yeah super natural <laughs> i have a wild goat over here <laughs> but I was are you like-minded in your choice of movie types you enjoy i think actually yes we enjoy mostly the same kind of movies or we, yeah, we enjoy the same movies. And why don't you clean as you go along? <laughs> I noticed you leave scrub wood pieces under the benches. That's actually true. We were talking about it today. <laughs> like sometimes we clean as we go, like right after working and on other days, yeah, it just kind of stays there. Yeah, most of the time we're just tired and we're just like, yeah. yeah, we can do that later. Exactly. And the later never arrives. Yeah. But what is our favorite kind of movies? What's our genre? Mm, I mean, maybe it's a cliche, but I like to watch romantic movies. Sometimes action movies. Um, what else? Sometimes documentaries. And I think... The yeah. David Attenborough doc doc documentaries exactly. <laughs> are the best. And I think Rodrigo actually enjoys the same kind of movies. Yeah. Or and romantic comedy. Yeah, comedy as well. Lots of comedy. Okay, I have to talk about this one. This is actually true. Before Freddy was here, most of the time I would eat probably once a day or maybe twice a day. I was just so busy with the work that I would pretty much never cook. And I mean, I was living in a tree house, didn't have a kitchen. I was living in a shed, had kind of a kitchen, but didn't have a fridge. So it was a little difficult. But now that Freddy's here, the way it's going up. People really want to know when are we getting married. Yeah, I, s I saw the question many, there many are times. Many comments, many questions, yeah. many people asking this yeah. question. But as we said, we are not in the we are not in a rush. Ah, actually, good addition to the marriage marriage question. Yeah. What about the children topic? <laughs> now it's <laughs> oh, where is he? He's gone. Rodrigo disappeared? What does that mean? <laughs> we already have so many furry children, that's furry true. Kids. I'm, I'm, for now, I'm very happy with furry children. I think we both would love to have children in the future. 100%. 100%, but it's not the time yet. Not yet. Uh, no. I think we're gonna wait a few years. Yeah, we we're still be, young and we don't wanna... We need to be financially stable exactly. to support the kid. And yeah. Yeah, we are kind of broke right now. <laughs> <laughs> For now, uh, we just want to enjoy the time together, just the two of us. And I guess in a few years, it's definitely time for children. But now, it's just the two of us. When we first met, 
when we first started dating that we brought up that topic of kids. She gave me two years <laughs> and I told her, yeah, you're gonna change your mind pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. She sometimes I, I have to say that sometimes I have a phase where I'm like so much more into children and then I'm like, yeah, I don't want to wait this long. Like in the next one or two years, I want to have children. And then like a few months later, I'm, yeah, like I want to wait at least five years <laughs> or six, seven. <laughs> so we're, we're still too yeah. young for children, yeah. I think. Exactly. In a few years, we promise. I mean, I'm older than you. So. You're still young. Time is running. <laughs> we promise to oh. deliver cute babies. <laughs> okay, wow. That's a, that's a promise or a thing to, to live up to. Hmm. So can we please admire how beautiful this farm is? I mean, everybody knows it's on camera. It's never as beautiful as in real life, but it's just beautiful. Don't you think? Don't you think that we live in a beautiful place? We do. <laughs> Next, we have Alice Burkhardt, and she's wondering where do the animals go when it's raining? The goats, the dogs. Well, we have houses for all the animals. This one right here is for the goats. This one is only for the female goats. Go in. And you go in. Here we keep them safe from the rain. They have a cover over there. And when it's raining, we most of the time just grab them and bring them inside. And we have grass in here. And most of the time we also have grass inside. Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're goats escaped. <laughs> okay. <coughs> As I was saying before, <laughs> we're goats escaped. Yeah, we have houses for all the animals. We have houses for the goats, the dogs. We even have a house for the cow, but she never uses it. She's just, <laughs> she would rather stay out in the rain than go inside of her house. But the other animals, they use their houses. Yeah, all of our animals sleep in their houses. The puppies sleep in the couch outside of the workshop or under the workshop. They have a puppy house and most of them sleep in our house. Freddy brings them inside. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Stunning. Like you. Hey. <laughs> Stop with the compliments. <laughs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> okay, that was actually actually not not planned. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna leave it. This is the end of our Q and A. Thank you so so much for submitting all your questions, and we hope we at least answer a few of your doubts. And. <laughs> <laughs> Why doubt? Questions. Questions. <laughs> so I think we are gonna leave you here, guys. Today was a very exciting day. You will see soon why it was exciting. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, very tired now. It was hot today and sunny, and I, I'm looking forward to go to bed very soon. Thank you so much for your support. Please consider subscribing, and we're gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night.